Hey everybody, welcome to Oddpod, I'm Dan, this is Stee, and this Ooh. is Forgotten 90s Cartoons. If you remember, and there should be a little link popping up in the corner hopefully, we did Forgotten 80s Cartoons and it was quite popular. People mm. really seemed to enjoy it, so we want to do Forgotten 90s and eventually we will do part 2 of 80s and part 2 of 90s. So like before, we've got 10 that we've listed, we don't know what each of us have um, what's on each of his list, so I don't know what he's picked, he doesn't know what I've picked, so we might have the same ones, but we'll just have to see. But we've picked each 10 forgotten 90s cartoons, and I want to stress, when I say forgotten, I don't mean literally you've all forgotten the cartoons. Some people may just never talk about anymore. Some people may remember, but just haven't thought about for a long time, and it's that kind of forgotten, not literally forgotten. I think people, <laughs> some people took it a bit literally last time. Yeah, because if, if you say 90s cartoons, things like Rugrats come to mind yeah, straight yeah. away. And it's but, the it's more like the ones that don't come to mind yeah, straight some, away. Oh, my cat's making a cameo, that's nice. <laughs> but there's some that people just have forgotten over the years and they just don't talk about anymore. It's not in popular culture anymore. And it's that kind of forgotten. And some you may have never heard of. <laughs> so yeah, it depends on the person, I guess. So who's going to start with the first one? With number Let 10. Let me start. I think, I think I've got a very good Okay, one. so start with number 10. Adventures of T-Rex. You've never <laughs> heard of it, have you? Adventures of T-Rex, what is that one? I have very, 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 remember, uh, very vague memories. It was early 90s? Or? Very early 90s. Okay. It was basically the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles equivalent but with T-Rexes, they were, I think... Like extreme dinosaurs? A little bit, no, not as bad. They actually had like robot suits, they had like Robocop visors sort of things. Um, they sang in, I think they were blues club singers, or, the, or something like that. And the bad guy had a really, really big dinosaur head. He had like a dinosaur head and he had glasses on. He had like shades on and his ears were really big and his head was too big for his body. And they had like mechanical suits on. One was red, one was green, one was purple, and one was blue. Vaguely, I don't know. Did they have toys with these? I don't know. I never had the toys on. I just remember the Adventures T Rex. I think it was something like that. The, the theme tune went Adventures of T Rex. And like you even see them come out and like I'm sure they had like suits on at first, and then they like run off and put on the. No game, go fight crime and stuff like Sounds that. so familiar, but like, I no, I don't know. I'll have to check it up afterwards. But yeah, get it up afterwards that's, and then add it onto the thing. I don't know. Certain things you've said, then I'm sort of like, yeah, I don't know. Right, I'll go for my number 10 then. My number 10 is Eek the Cat. Eek the Cat. No, do you know what just came to my head when you said that then? Courage the dog. No, nope, um, not Courage the Cat. I know, I know it's not Courage the Dog. <laughs> it's um, Eek the Cat, a clumsy purple house cat that tries to save his girlfriend Annabelle. And it's also a shark dog called Sharky. And it's, it's a very, very 90s cartoon. Like, big eyes, loads of explosions. Like, I think I remember that. Yeah, it's a purple cat. And it's kind of chubby. He's got a really fat um, girlfriend. She, she's pink and she's huge. And oh, a great no. intro. The, one of the best cartoon intros ever. The music was brilliant. Yes, I do. Because he, he was a bit like a Garfield thing, wasn't he? Like a, kind like a of, chubby like, cat. And he's, he was purple, he was kind of chubby, but he was more more zany, more 90s cartoon, yeah, if you know what I mean. Like I smashing do. into things, explosions, his eyes popping out, and just like, it was very 90s, and I absolutely loved Eek the Cat. It was so cool, and it's very underappreciated. It was a great cartoon. Yeah. So you don't remember Eek the Cat, or you kind I of do. maybe. Yeah, yeah, I do remember Eek the Cat. Um, but yeah, I loved Eek the Cat. It was great. I think it was on Fox Kids. I think it was even made by Fox Kids, I'm not sure, but um, I really liked um, Eek the Cat, so... Comments below, did you remember the cat? So what have you got next? What's your number nine? Sharky and John. Was that nineties? Grandbusters of the sea. I remember watching it in the nineties. I always thought that was eighties for some reason. Oh fair enough, then if you're sure it's nineties. Sure it is, because me me and James used to watch it. Ah, okay. Because I, I do remember watching it in the nineties, but yeah. <laughs> Terrible cartoon. It's a weird I one because no, I loved it as a kid. I really liked it, and then I watched it recently, and it is terrible. Is it? It's <laughs> just watch it soon because I really liked it. Yeah, the great. It's one of those cartoons that had a great intro, and then you just turn it off after the intro. But um, but when I was a kid, I did watch it, and I really enjoyed it. But then I rewatched it recently, and it is terrible. Like not like oh, it's aged badly. 
it was terrible back then, but because we were kids, <laughs> we didn't care. See, that is the same sort of. It's not a forgotten cartoon, but I, it was going to be in my list. But I thought it, it might be remembered a lot. Mm. It was Samurai Pizza Cats. How awful is Samurai Pizza Cats? I was watching. I was like, I really don't remember this. It was just. It was like, you know, what it was equivalent of. It's like getting a cartoon and having just me and you just do really silly voices <laughs> over it. It was just like. But none of this made sense. Like, oh, look at the bad guy. He's doing this. And it's like, it was going on about stuff. And like, how dare you bad mouth Samurai Pizza It's too bad I'm not wearing my Samurai Pizza Cats t-shirt right now. No, I, I, no it's, it's not necessarily the Samurai Pizza Cats that I didn't like. It was it was the bad American... Dubbing. Bad dubbing. Yeah, the yeah. really bad dubbing. A lot, a lot of them back then, because the anime wasn't a huge thing like it is today. Yeah. So it was just like, yeah, dub over, whatever. And yeah, just like, it was just like... It wasn't as good. Yeah, it was, it was really... It's absolutely... A lot of anime killing. in the 90s had bad dubbing, but I still... And it's one of those... Another cartoon with a great intro song, really catchy, and the cartoons, meh, I don't know. But I still... I have a soft spot for Samurai Peace Cats. Well, that's not on the list. No, it's not on the list. It's not on the list. So Sharky and George, I always thought that was 80s, but like comments below, if, if any we do mention were 80s, you can let us know, but um, some of them might have just been like late 80s, but they they feel more 90s because that's when we watched them. Yeah. Because yeah. I do remember, I think it was like 91 or 90 when I was watching Sharky and George. Mm. So um, yeah, Sharky and yeah. George, that's yeah. not a great one. <laughs> so, what number was that? That was my number. So I'm on nine, aren't I? Yeah. So my number nine is Life with Louie. <laughs> I didn't think you know what that was. Yeah, Life with Louie. It's loose, loosely based upon a stand-up comedian's oh life. Um, the comedian's called Louis Anderson. I know Louis Anderson, but I don't, I've never seen any of his stand-up or anything like that. But basically, it was kind of like... Do you know the way Doug is? Where it's just like yeah. someone's life. It's not like zany or anything. It's just like someone's life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Life with Louie was like that. So it's based on this comedian's childhood loosely. Right. And it was just a fat kid with a gap tooth, and it was on Fox Kids. And I did like it, but nothing much happened in it. Like Doug. Yeah. It's not like, I like Doug. Nothing really happened, so. No. So, yeah, Life hey. with Louie. <laughs> so, Life with Louie. I didn't think you'd know Life with Louie. No. Because I think it was just Fox Kids, and I, I did quite like See, it. See, no, I didn't have anything like Fox Kids or Cartoon Network oh, when, I don't I, like when I was growing up. <laughs> no. That's why I practically lived at my grandparents, because <laughs> they had Sky. But yeah, Life of Louis is my number nine. Nice, okay. So what's your number eight will be now, won't it? Yeah, number eight. Little shop, little shop of harvest, little shop, little uh, shop of harvest. But, oh, it was just called Little Shop. Mm. It wasn't actually called Little Shop of Horrors, but I had to put Shop of Horrors on there to remember. I like that cartoon. I've got vague memories of watching it, but I remember I did like it. Yeah, I have very vague memories as well. I don't really, I couldn't. I loved the movie. With Rick know, Moranis and all that, and I can't Steve really remember, I great movie. Don't really remember the movie or the cartoon all that well. I've got vague memories of just seeing the intro for the cartoon. However, I wish Mr. Mushnik in the Shent Balls. I don't know why. I'm, don't know why I'm sounding like I'm <laughs> Dutch. But I, I was Mr. Mushnik in the Saint Paul's Roman Catholic High School production of Little Shop of Horrors. Wow. Yeah, and which was actually quite funny because of all we did all the shows, and there's obviously there's this part where the. Um, the plant says something like, I don't give a... Yeah. And, like, for the f for the first five performances, obviously, Mr. Patterson, who was it, he didn't say it. And the very last one, he was, I don't give a... And he actually <laughs> said it, and everyone was like, way! <laughs> so, yeah, that's probably why I remember Little Shop. Yeah. So I remember, and he's like, it was that sort of... I This is, I mean, we can talk more about this in a bit, but there was a certain thing to, like, 90s... And early two thousand cartoons, where they all had the same sort of style. I get what you mean because you, you know? got that now with like Adventure Time and stuff like that. Yeah, there's like certain periods of time that have just have a certain style. It was like seventies cartoons that all have that that same yeah, type of style. Yeah, it's like Men in Black and Ghostbusters Extreme. Yeah, they, they had, had that the exact, exact same style. Hmm. And it was like Little Shop of Horrors, and and I can't really think of anything off the head, but there was other cartoons there were others, like yeah. it. Just I get what like you mean. Yeah, no, I totally get what you mean. But yeah, Little Shop, Little Shop of Horrors. I remember the movie better. I really, really like the movie. I'm a big fan of the movie. But um, yeah, I've got big memories of sitting in my bedroom and seeing... Because I think in the intro, he's like jumping in the plant pot across yes. the screen and stuff. And I've got vague memories of that, but I don't remember the cartoon properly. Don't know if it was good or and bad the, or whatever. I think the bad guy had a brace, didn't he? I can't remember. And one of the bullies, and he's like... <laughs> I don't remember. Something like that. He had that sort of voice, yeah. But yeah, but it was a good one, though. Yeah. Yeah. So number on to eight now, aren't we? Yar. Okay, right. My number eight is... Oh, no, that's number four. Uh, number eight 
I'm very professional. My number eight is Widget the World Watcher. <laughs> it's very early 90s. I think it's literally 90 or 91. And I'll read the little thing that I wrote. Shape-shifting aliens, helping kids, protect the environment from bad people, I think. So I think it's kind of like, do you know, like Captain Planet, where sort of like, there was a, there was a few uh, cartoons around the early 90s, late 80s, where it's saving the environment. Yeah. And I think Widget the World Watcher was one of those. It's like a little pink alien, and you can turn into elephants, and, and you can just shape-shift into loads of different things, and yeah, it helps seen, the yeah. kids off in their adventures to save something like a forest or something like that. I got fake memories of watching it, but I remember I did really like it. And every time I mention, like, like your reaction just then, every time I say to someone, "Do you remember Widget the World Watcher?" <laughs> no one, just blank oh, expressions. Man. Nobody remembers yeah. it. Uh, so that's definitely a forgotten '90s cartoon because nobody. So please, comments below. Do you remember Widget the World Watcher? And if you do, <laughs> let me know because you're in an exclusive club with me because not many people remember it. So Widget the World Watcher. I did quite like it. I think <laughs> I'll have to watch some episodes soon. So what have you got next? Conan, the adventurer. Conan, the adventure. warrior without fear. I always remember it because I always remember the intro more than the cartoon because hmm. it was about the bad guy. I think he had a snake face or had some sort of like snake I've power. I've never seen this cartoon. So and he turned Conan's family into stones and then Conan was out for re- Conan the adventurer because hmm. I know there's Conan the barbarian and yeah, Conan, Conan the destroyer. destroyer yeah. Whereas this one was Conan the adventurer and he was going to stop this back. I never actually remember much of the cartoon. I've never it seen it. Conan, the adventurer. Conan, warrior without fear. And then go into something else and I really can't remember. I've never seen it in my life. <laughs> it, I, I wasn't that entertained. Was it early 90s? I, it's got to be early 90s. It was early 90s, yeah. yeah. Nope. No. <laughs> Proper blank. I remember being on, on CBBC. CBBC okay. showed it. See, I was more of a CBBC person. I was if I had to choose, I'd probably ITV, I guess. Yeah. But um, but yeah, no, 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 probably blank on that one, right? <laughs> well, we've got next. My next one is Tales from the Crypt Keeper. Yeah. So you know the TV show Tales from the Crypt. Yes, like the Crypt Keeper. Was... It's like um, he tells different tales every episode. It's like just the cartoon version. It was on Nickelodeon, and it was more of a fun kids version. Kind of like I guess what Goosebumps would be like. Goosebumps, a TV show. It's a bit cheesy. It's not really scary. No. So, Tales from the Crypt Keeper was a cartoon based on the live TV show, which is one of the best TV shows ever, because I love the Crypt Keeper. And um, it was okay. It wasn't as good as the live show, because I was watching the live show when I was a kid as See, well. See, that's, that that's, that's something else that 80s and 90s kids had that... I mean, kids nowadays, don't we? We, have, we had cartoons and toys and things. We shouldn't yeah, really... Robocop. Be. Robocop, <laughs> Alien. Terminator. Tales from the Crypt Keeper, you know, yeah. that, that stuff that we really shouldn't have been... Toxic Crusaders, <laughs> all of them, all those kind of things. But, um, but yeah, I, I really liked um, Tales from the Crypt when I was a kid, because I wasn't really supposed to watch it, but I watched stuff like that and loved it, and then Tales from the Crypt Keeper on Nickelodeon came out, and it was good, but it, I don't, it just didn't have that edgy humour and that, like the gore and the horror things that I loved as a kid, because I was kind of kid I loved horror stuff so um, it was okay it was just like a diet version but it wasn't too bad but um, it's not very remembered more the TV show is very fondly remembered now but the cartoon not so much so yeah that was Tales from the Crypt Keeper Tales from the Crypt Keeper <laughs> so have you got next um, Highlander never seen it I knew there was a cartoon of it yeah I didn't like the movies either so <laughs> I never really watched the movies. I um, I don't like them. I don't know why. It's... A lot of people love those. Is it Christopher movies. Walken? Yeah. Sean Connery in it? I know that. Sean Connery's in it, yeah. I, that's all yeah. I know. I didn't like him. <laughs> and the other guy, I'm sure it's Christopher Walken. It was a TV show as well, wasn't it? Like a live action yeah, TV show. Yeah, that, that was never saw that either. But the cartoon, was that like, like it's got to be early, very early 90s, like yeah, 1990. He had, maybe. the Highlander had red hair, definitely remember that. And the guy, okay. the bad guy had like a, um, Helmet on, sort of thing, and he was like pale white and black and green eyes. Okay. There was. Uh, what? Do you know what? There was something that me and mates ages ago, they kept on repeating a line that Sean Connery says in Highlander. You I, said it to me a while can, ago, last time you was here, and I don't yeah, remember what it was. I can, <laughs> so I just. Something about women or something? I can't remember now. So I just said, hold for the girl that was there, or something like that. I can't remember. Comments below. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, no, I don't remember this cartoon at all. I didn't. 
watch it. Again. I don't know what channel it would have been on. CBBC. Ah, there we go then. CBBC. Uh, the ones I remember, yeah, with Conan. See, uh, it's more the intros I remember <laughs> than the actual cartoon. We have a lot of cartoons. Because I think we have a lot of them. I, think, I didn't think I particularly liked it, I'll be yeah. honest, but I do remember it. Mm. Oh, cartoons are great intros, but bad cartoons. But yeah, I don't even kind of know the great intro. I just I know, know. For, I just know it from yeah images of it. Mm. But no, no, no I ain't got a clue that one. So my next one is Gravedale High. I'll read the little synopsis thing I made. Max Schneider, voiced by Rick Moranis, so we got the little shop of horror guy in it, um, is a teacher who takes a position at a high school populated by monsters that luckily don't kill him. Basically, it's like uh, all the universal monsters, like you got your Creature from the Black Lagoon, you got Wolfman and Dracula and all that kind of stuff, all in a school, and there's this human teacher there to sort of teach them and help them and stuff like that. And it was a weird one. It's another one I've got very, very vague memories. I've literally just got stills in my head. And I did watch the intro the other day, and I saw like the sea monster one. He was kind of like, a, I think he's like a surfer dude or a skater dude kind of one. And I remember that character. Hmm. But all the others, kind of, but I remember that specific character but um, I don't know if I watched it much don't remember the intro so I don't know if it was good or not but um, yeah I think that's a very very forgotten cartoon because um, yeah I don't think anybody knows but I'm, I think it was mid 90s I think it could have been mid 90s but yeah voiced by Rick Moranis the um, teacher and yeah I love it. I must have watched it because I loved my Universal Monsters and stuff when I was a kid I used to watch them all so, um, so yeah it's kind of my kind of cartoon I guess but I don't know if it's good. I'm going to have to rewatch it sometime. But um, yeah, it's Gravedale High. It's a cool title. I like the title of it. So, um, mm-hmm. so yeah, that's my... I don't know what number that was now. What's Gravedale High? That was my number six. So, so what's your next one then? Number five is Exo Squad. Um, I watched... I do remember it. And I watched, I watched the intro recently. And basically what it was is that humans had left Earth and colonised both Mars and Venus. And they had like these... They grew like these half-breed human sort of people, you know, to sort of help them, basically like the slaves, really. Okay. But then these people sort of uprise, and there's a big massive one, there's huge, massive, um, like, mechs on either side, so there's all these big battles mm. going on. And it was just, that was, uh, it was just called Exo Squad, and I, I do remember, and I remember having one of the toys as well, and that's why I really do remember, because I mean, it was a, I think it was a very short-lived thing, especially over here, and I think it was on Channel 4, Okay. On a Sunday morning. Nah, I don't want to watch that. <laughs> so, well, it might be Saturday morning, but I know that I'm sure it was definitely Channel Four. It was on. Okay. And yeah, it was it was good. I, I don't even recognise the title. I, 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 I can't even say I can't even say it was good because I don't really remember it. But it was one of those where I must have liked it because I saw a toy of it and I got it, mm. which I very rarely did unless I really liked it. But yeah. again, I don't have massive memories of it. No, nope, not ringing anybody. You'll have to show me the intro later or something because um. Nope. <laughs> I've noticed a bit of a pattern with our cartoons that we picked, you know. You used to watch a lot of the real type of cartoons, if you know what I mean. Like, you got, like, the Conans and, yeah. like... And I used to watch more of the more zany, insane kind of yeah. mad cartoons. So it's kind of a nice... shows a nice difference Bounce, there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, my next one is... Da, 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 da. See, I've got a nice little list. You just got it on your phone. Yeah. Right. My number five is one I did like as a kid, and that is Swat Cats. I do remember Swat Cats. Yep, so I watched on Casting Network, but the only thing I don't remember about it is what actually happened. The intro was ace. It was like heavy metal intro. It was so cool. Wasn't it they, they, they just sort of like flew around in a plane? Yeah, they were in like guys. these jets and everything, and there was like monsters, and they were flying yeah. around, and the intro was really, really cool. I'll show a clip of the intro around here somewhere. And the intro was ace. The music was really cool, and it had them putting the gloves on and getting ready, and I zoom up, and they looked really cool. And I'm big. I'm kind of a bit gutted it didn't get bigger, you know, because it was pretty cool. But I don't remember really remember the show that well. See, this is the thing, especially with a lot of and even with the eighties stuff. Mm. See, I can remember episodes of Turtles. Yep. And Thundercats. Yep. And Transformers. Yep. But I can't remember other things. I can't remember because I don't think there was enough. Of, I don't think there was enough of it. But a lot of them, I remember the intro. I was like, yeah. oh, great intro. <laughs> well, see, it. and again, Thundercats, Ghostbusters, Transformers, I had on video as well, and Turtles. Yeah, so yeah. I watched them I a never, lot. The ones we're talking about now, I never saw on video. Oh, hardly any of them anyway. Yeah, never saw exactly. VHSs yeah. or no. anything. And no. if they were, they were probably in bargain bins, maybe or something. I don't know. Yeah. 
But um, SWAT cats. Oh, I just remember sitting down and eating big multi bags of Monster Munch, hence the big belly. And um, eating Monster Munch, watching SWAT cats, and that intro was so cool. But I can, I've not even got a still, like a little picture in my head of what happened in any episode. <laughs> but that intro. So yeah, that's, that's one of my forgotten ones. I, I think that was number five, I can't know, or four. That was SWAT cats. What's yours? Um, I had to double check this because I thought it might have been earlier, but it wasn't. Okay. Um, Mummy's Alive. Oh yeah, yeah, I know Mummy's Alive. Never watched it. Another one I never watched. And it's the same thing with us. You've got like, it's a more really kind of yeah. cartoon and mine's more... I do, I do remember some episodes. Well, I, I, I say that. I actually watched some episodes recently. So they are sort of... And it was how I remembered it. It was really, really I loved it. I, I really enjoyed Mummy's Alive. I always wanted the toys, but I never got them. Okay. I was getting a bit old, too old for toys and that point, but mm. um, I never got too old for toys. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was one of those where it was like I was still collecting Star Wars. So oh, I get like, what you mean, though. New sort of yeah, toys. Yeah, yeah, I get what you mean. But yeah, Mummy's Alive was one that always stuck with me. And I always remember I used to wind up my younger brother Thomas used to go, "Tommy's alive." He used to go, "Stop it! Stop <laughs> it! Stop picking on me!" Don't this remember this cartoon one. at all. Yeah, it was basically. Um, a boy who sort of was a descendant of an, a pharaoh managed to find like a, an amulet, I think it was, okay. and it awoke. I think this has got to be like 97, 98 maybe? Yeah, and okay. I think it might have been 99. Oh, okay. And it awoken, it, yeah, the, uh, it awoken like his guardians who he had back in Egypt. Oh, okay, okay. And there was a bad guy called Scarab and he was trying to kill a little boy, so his like, from thousands and thousands of years in the future like they they woke up as they were mummies and but then they would go by the power of Ra and get all this super armor and basically fight to protect him because he was still there it sounds like the kind of cartoon that came out around the time of like gargoyles and skeleton warriors and stuff like that i think it came a little bit late in skeleton warriors and stuff like that um, sounds like that kind of cartoon yeah (laughs) but um, nope never seen it and yeah, <laughs> no idea. Right, what's uh, what's my next one? Let's have a look. So my number four, it'll be, won't it? Yeah. My number four is Mighty Max. So everybody knows the toys of Mighty Max. They were ace. I had so many Mighty Max I toys. I do remember the cartoon very. I very remember well. the cartoon. I don't remember, it the, was I don't remember episodes. There was the guy. There was the big guy. With there was a big hair. guy with red hair. There was the little owl guy. Yeah. I there was the Max himself. Guy. Yeah. And I thought it was rubbish even back then, and it is a rubbish. It's a rubbish cartoon. It's rubbish, but um, the toys, oh, I loved. My, I still love Mighty Max now. I still need to collect all the toys again. I had loads of them as a kid. Uh, there was an NES game as well, apparently, but um, I never had an NES, so I never played it. But the cartoon, I was really excited because I think I don't know what channel it was being advertised on. I don't know if it was Cartoon Network or Nick, Nick or I can't remember. But I remember seeing adverts and thinking, oh my god, I love Mighty Max and there's a cartoon coming out. I watched it. I watched quite a few episodes and it was rubbish. I was always bored with the episodes and yeah, it, was, it just wasn't interesting. And uh, if you liked Mighty Max, comments below and let us know. But I can't see that anybody would have actually liked it. It was pretty bad. So yeah, so yeah, Mighty Max. But nobody talks about the cartoon, but the toys everybody still talks about. So what next? Captain Z and the Sleep Patrol. I do recognise the name. Uh, is, he was in like. Did a, he have like a red costume with red, like a ball thing? Yep, yeah, and a really big <laughs> nose, and he's yes. working with. And in the Z Patrol were a load of sheep. Yeah. I, I did what I did watch that. I've got very extremely like, end with all these kind of very vague memories, but um, I do I do vaguely remember it. I remember the I remember the. Main guy. Yep. But everything else. It's I hard to. Know. Yeah, I couldn't really point out. But I did watch. I think I watched it quite a lot though. Yeah, it was I one mean, of those. It was where... after school thing, I think it yeah. was. Yeah, it was, it was an after an school ITV. cartoon, yeah. And I think I liked it. I watched it every day. I think it was around the time when like Dreamstone was out. Do you remember Dreamstone? I should have put that on the list. I don't know if it was 90, yeah. I can't remember. But, but I like Dreamstone. That's an honourable mention, I guess. Dreamstone. <laughs> it, I think it was on the, around the time of Dreamstone. I think. I'm not sure though. I have to show you Dreamstone later. Yeah. I've got an annual yeah, stuff to show me. But um, yeah, I do remember Captain Z. Captain Z in the what? In the it was Sleep Patrol. Sleep Patrol. Okay. I do have vague memories of it, and I do remember coming home from school and it being on, but I couldn't name a character. I don't even know what the intro was like. It starts off with kids going to bed and going Captain Z or something like 
The children are going to sleep. Or certain children in this area have gone to sleep. Captain Z and all this. I can't remember. Doesn't sound great. <laughs> no. What's it? We'll have to check if the cartoon's even good because... I can't remember, but I must have kind of liked it if I was watching it all the time, every day after school. So, yeah, Captain Z and the Sleep Patrols, I think it was something like that. There we go. Another forgotten cartoon. Next up for me is, ah, Samurai Pizza Cats. I forgot about it on the list. Samurai Pizza Cats. So, yeah, we have Samurai Pizza. And written on my little finger, I put anime, turtles, but cats. (laughs) <laughs> so it's pretty, it was pretty much See, the, the Ninja Turtles, but uh, cats, and they didn't even change what food they liked. It was still pizza. It was still <laughs> but, um, well, even, in, even more, so they delivered pizzas, didn't they? They did delivered pizzas, but um, it was a great intro. It was one, of, yeah, it was a great intro. intro. But like, we were talking about it before, so you kind of heard what we said about yeah. it. With, um, but I did watch it all the time. I did like it as a kid, but you, you've watched it recently, you didn't like it, you said it was rubbish. I haven't watched it for years, so I'm going to have to watch one. I watched a clip of one a while ago, and I was like, the voiceover wasn't great, but I was like, oh, it sounds 90s-y kind of anime dubbing. But um, the intro cartoon, uh, the intro song, sorry, absolutely brilliant. Never forgot it of all all these years. I've got a T-shirt, which I'm gutted I'm not wearing now because it's in the wash. (laughs) I remember remember you telling me, like, the, the well, I remember reading on Wikipedia that Samurai Pizza Cats in Japan was completely different to the Samurai Pizza Cats. A lot of them the were. US. They cut because off like certain story elements and like stuff like that. Cheese, Sailor Moon had the same thing. Something like Big Cheese was actually a transvestite <laughs> yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, there was a lot of things they did with, like got away with in Japan. It was just totally fine. But here they had to clear. The same with the turtles, like Hero Turtles in the UK, and they took mm. the nunchucks out of uh, Mikey. Seeing who Sailor Moon had a lot of editing, there's a lot of um, sexual things in it and stuff like they had to cut out for UK. And same with Samurai Pizza Cats, they changed storylines and changed bits and bobs. And yeah, so we didn't get the best version sometimes of things, but um, but I still I, I still love Samurai Pizza Cats. I love the characters. I wish I had the toys as a kid. I had three. Ugh. I had Speed And you don't even like it. <laughs> no, I did. I loved it as a kid. Oh, that's all right. <laughs> I absolutely adored it as a kid. Um, I had Speedy. I had the Fat Cat one, the cannons. Yeah, I know what you mean. And the drill one. You could, it, was yeah. like, or, it was like orange. Mm. I had them three. And I would love to get them three again. I've never seen... I never saw them as a kid they and I've not really seen them cool. since. Do you know where they were? They're so expensive now. <laughs> do you know where... Do you know what... Um, was it... Do you know Woolworths in, I mean Piccadilly, the one that got yep. burnt down? That's where I got mine, because that's where I got them from, and the Toxic Crusader figures that I had. I want Samurai Pizza Cat toys. Samurai <laughs> Pizza Cat. But um, yeah, no, I never had Samurai Pizza Cat toys, never saw them as a kid, and if I did, I would have so wanted them. I'd love a plushie or something like that, oh, that'd be so cool. I'm going on eBay later. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, Samurai Pizza Cats. Um, love the intro. I'll have to rewatch the cartoon, see if it was good. But please let me know if there's more Samurai Pizza Cats and the um, fans in the comments below. Because eh, it's kind of forgotten because of the whole dubbing thing. And I'd love to watch it in Japanese, you know, English subtitles, just to see oh, what it's, how different yeah, it is. Yeah, or even if an, I think it was actual, an actual translation, like yeah. an actual dubbing, hmm. where you know what's been said in the cartoon is being translated into English as dubbing rather than the... His, it, 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 that's the thing I was saying about Samurai Pizza Cats. When you watch it now, it was literally just people just making silly, <laughs> saying stupid things. But yeah, there, there was a lot of that in the 90s with anime. Like, yeah, there's, there's mm-hmm. a lot of just silly dubs, but then things were redubbed and then redubbed again, and always happened. So yeah, Samurai Pizza Cats, what's next for you? What's next for me is. Uh, we got. Itsy Bitsy Spider. Ipsy Bitsy Spider. Is that the BBC? Ipsy Bitsy Spider. Up, up, up. It might have been actually. Always come down. Always come down. Always come down. Basically. Is it the little black? It was a little purple. Oh, spider. Purple? No, no, you're thinking of spider. Oh, I'm thinking spider of spider. Yeah. In the... That's what I was thinking. Do you know, of. I, actually, I actually showed that Nathan the other day. He loves it. He's like, a spider in the bath. A spider in the bath. I don't oh, know why. That's the one I was thinking of. So what's this one? I, I don't know this it's one. It's Bitsy Spider. It's, it's actually a cartoon. You'd probably love it. It's, like, it's a little girl who befriends a spider hmm. and she lives with like a really, she lives with an old woman. Well, like a woman who's like really strict, like, yeah, you know, yeah. like, and she's got like a cat and she's always trying to kill the spider, but the spider's like causing mayhem and all this and 
and the little girl was like his only his only friend. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really daft things. Like in the intro, there's one thing where this really big hulking guy is doing like a karate kick, mm. and the woman and the cat's holding a um, like a piece of wood, and then the spider just drops down. So they freak out and throw it, and then the guy kicks them out of a building. <laughs> Never seen that. That sounds quite fun. But yeah, it's it's that sort of thing, you know, with the whole like eyes popping and so yeah, yeah. the sort of thing that you would love. Oh, cool. Maybe if I saw it, I'd recognise it. But um, no, I don't recognise the description or anything. But I will check that one out. Yeah. Okay. Right. Next. What we got next? Um, my second find number two is Hammerman. That is the MC Hammer yes, cartoon. I do remember that. I it never watched did. it. I only found out about it a few years back. I never saw it as a kid or anything like that. But MC Hammer, the cartoon. Channel 4, <laughs> I think it was on. I remember, I, I, it was definitely 90s. I used it was to 91, I think it yes. came out. Yeah, that sounds about right. But um, I still can't believe there's an MC Hammer cartoon. There's a few celebrities I would say, yeah, cartoon, fair enough, but... But he, he he was big and he, he was huge. He was yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I think it was one of those where I saw an episode that it's terrible. Yeah, I know what you mean. Definitely forgotten one. I've not heard anyone mention like, oh, do you remember MC Hammer the cartoon? It was so good. No, no. So my number one. Now this is this is what I this is what I said. I have to think I thought of something, but it wasn't really a kids cartoon. Okay. It was more of a late one. Stressed Eric. Stressed Eric, um, my lovely lady Sam mentioned that a while ago. I never saw it as a kid, but she mentioned it and it did bring her back some memories. So I think I must have seen clips of the kid. Is it the guy who has like, the vein in his head and he gets stressed out and it goes on a rampage or something? Well, or it does, it eventually, it gets like loads of things happen to him, and then by the end of it, he gets so stressed, his vein pops out of his head. And strangle him. Yeah, that's it. And so he's unconscious. And I'm sure he's voiced by I can't remember the guy's name is now. It's Mark something, I think. Do you know the? Do you ever watch Space? No. Oh, yeah. uh, Simon Pegg. I can't think what else he's been in, but um, he's been in all sorts of things like Big Train and stuff like. It's a certain comedian actor. Yeah, yeah. And he did the voice for Stressed Eric, but um, I can't remember what his name is. Mark something, I think. But um, but yeah, I don't remember it. But I've got. I think I might have watched. It a few bits of it back in the day but I never properly watched it yeah. like it, I said Sam it was one it. of those it was on about 9 o'clock on BBC 2 yeah. on a Monday night yeah it so. wasn't really kids was it it was, no, it it wasn't was more um, it wasn't it was specifically adults but it was yeah, mid it was range like, kind of thing yeah yeah, yeah. but I, I get it yeah but um, nope never watched it and it's not one I've heard people mention for a long time either so there you go yeah. so my number one is Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Yes, I do. Or tomatoes, depending on you. I, 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 that was actually going to be on my list, but then I thought, oh, you might you might be on that one. There's actually a couple that I actually did think of that we've not mentioned. There's a few that I've had saved. That's why we're going to be doing part two of this and part two of the 80s, because there are a few that I took off and popped back on and took back. So we've gone back and forth. And I'm sure there's some ones that were only aired maybe in America that you could tell us about too. Uh, or ones we've just, we might not even have thought of. But um, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, or Tomatoes, depending on how you pronounce it, was it was all right. It wasn't an amazing card, but the intro, oh, another great intro attack, the killer tomatoes, brilliant cartoon intro, and I, I did like it. I did watch it quite a lot, and it's based on a movie. It's another one based on an adult movie. Yeah. Well, I'll say adult. It's not that bad, but um, again, that was another one that had that certain style of animation, which was quite yeah, familiar. Like, yeah, yeah. It had the same animation, like Tox. I think Toxic Crusaders yeah. had that kind of animation as well. It was sort of like. Near mid nineties, I got ninety ninety three, ninety four, that kind of time. That yeah. had a certain animation, and then from ninety five to ninety nine, that had the Men in Black and all that kind of animation. So it sort of changed between early nineties and um, late nineties. Mm. But I did like Attack of Kill Tomatoes. It had that little furry tomato in it as well. It was like it was like a little sidekicky pet thing. Mm. It had the blonde girl, the scientist. It had little, and they had toys as well that I never had as a kid. And um, they look ace. I was on eBay a while ago looking at them. And the toys look so cool. They look all gruesome and horrible. They've got green slime coming out of them and nice. stuff. They look really cool, so I do want to get hold of some of those sometime. But um, it had a great intro song, and I saw the movie years later, because with Toxic Crusades and stuff, I saw Toxic Avenger years before and all that. But with this one, I never knew it was based on a movie. The movie's weird. Is it? Yeah, it's good, but it's, it's very weird. But um, it's, it's a weird one to think. You know when you're watching movies and you think, that needs to be a cartoon? I never would have thought of it with Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, but they pulled it off, and um, a few people still do mention it. So I don't, I wouldn't say it's completely forgotten, but it's not one that is brought up all the time at mm. all. 
it is one that still is kind of under and a certain few people would mention it. But um, I'll have to watch an episode sometimes. I can't remember if it was really good, but I do remember watching it quite a lot. Um, and that intro song, brilliant. I do remember it. Attack yeah. of the Tomatoes. Tomatoes. And it was just, it was, it was a brilliant song and everything. It was crazy and it was fun. And I think, as far as I remember, I did like the cartoon. As far as I remember, but I was a stupid kid, so... Uh, there's a lot of things that were terrible that I liked as a kid, so I don't know. But um, I've noticed, though, in our list, pretty much, not all of them, but pretty much every single one had an amazing intro, even if the cartoon was poo. Mm. They had, there was a speech about 80s ones, and 90s so. cartoons. The intro songs were so good, even for the worst cartoons. I think they put all the money and effort just into that intro, because once that intro's on your cartoons, some people just can't be bothered to change an movie, so like, oh, I'm, I'm watching it now. So you make the best intro ever. But um, yeah, so my number one is Killer. Um, I forgot Attack, what it's of, the Attack, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Um, but yeah, I think we've got quite a good list there. And yeah. I think a lot of them, not all of them, but a lot of them people would never have heard of. And some of them you might be like, wow, I forgot all about that kind of thing. So hopefully we've brought some waves in nostalgia to some of yours. And please comment below. Let me know if you remember all these. Maybe let me know which ones you do remember, which ones you don't remember. And let me know which ones you think should be in part two. Maybe there's some we've never even mentioned. Um, anything like that. And there could be, like I said, there could be some that are only aired in America that we've never heard of. And we wouldn't mind um, doing those as long as they definitely are forgotten 90s cartoons in America too. But um, but yeah, I think that was quite a good list. Really yeah. enjoyed that. And we will do a part two of 80s sometime and a part two for 90s sometime. And I'm thinking maybe even 70s. I know it's not our time, but there was a lot of cartoons from the 70s mm. that was still going with the 90s for us. We got like Scooby-Doo's and all that kind of stuff. A lot of Hanna-Barbera cartoon characters that nobody talks about anymore, so that's one to look out for. But yeah, that was Forgotten 90s Cartoons. Really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, etc. And we'll see you on the next one. Bye! Bye.